Hi guys! It's Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my hair makeover from my super long hair to this super short hair. If you want to know my hair venture with Mary Pauline Salon and the Beauty Lounge by Bianca Festejo, please keep on watching! Okay, just a brief background. The Beauty Lounge by Bianca Festejo is actually their second branch already. So, yung first branch nila is in Las Piñas and it's called the Mary Pauline Salon. Before we proceed to the procedure na gagawin sa akin, inassess muna ako ng kanilang stylist at chinek ang hair ko kung anong kailangan, which is good kasi parang tinatanong talaga nila kung ano na yung history ng hair mo, kung perfect ba yung pinili mong procedure para sa'yo, or kung mas makakadamage ito ng buhok mo. Also, binigyan din nila kami ng advice kung paano i-maintain ang inyong good and beautiful hair. Apparently, desidido na talaga ako na magkaroon ng balayage kasi ang gaganda talaga ng mga picture sa Pinterest ng balayage. Kaya super nainganyo talaga ako na ganun ang gagawin ko. And since balayage has bleaching, they asked me to sign a waiver na pinapayagan ko sila na i-bleach ang aking hair. They started by cutting my long hair before bleaching. Siyempre, sayang ang gamot kung kakat lang ang hair, di ba? So far, it's too long for me, but they said na ititrim naman siya after no bleaching. So, okay lang. Next step is bleaching. Sa balayage kasi, parang ano, letter V yung paglagay ng bleach. Super saturated ang gamot dito sa lower part ng hair. And then going up, parang V-shape lang siya or mga streak na lang ng bleach ang nilalagay. After almost 20 minutes, if I remember it correctly, nag-rinse na kami. Super light talaga ng hair ko, as in yellow siya sa ilalim. Siyempre, kasi nga binleach, di ba? Now it's time to add the full hair color, which is ash brown. After blow-drying my hair, I noticed na yung lower part ng hair ko ay parang nagiging green. So I asked them to tone it down para hindi naman sobrang drastic talaga ng pagka-light ng balayage ko. I asked them, kapag po ba tinone down ng hair ko, magiging mas light pa rin siya kaysa sa top? Kasi di ba ganun ang balayage? And they said yes. So I allow them to tone down my hair. So after nila tone down yung hair ko, and then nilagyan din nila ng keratin treatment. By the way, I have a DIY keratin treatment at home. If you want to see that video, I will be linking it down in the description box. Also, I will leave it here in the information box. O nga pala, nilagyan din kasi nila na vial na nilagyan nila sa lower part ng hair ko kasi nga sobrang dami siya so, syempre binleach na siya pinatungan na siya ng ash brown then tinone down pa siya so parang 3 times na siyang nalagyan ng hair color so kailangan na siya ng matinding treatment so after nilang kulote ng hair ko masaya naman ako sa naging result kasi nga syempre hindi siya ganun ka light but as they said mas maglalight pa siya kapag nawash ko na yung hair ko so inintay ko muna siya um, after my first shampoo and conditioner, tiningnan ko ulit yung hair ko. And pag uwi ko sa bahay, walang nakapansin na nagpagupit ako kahit sobrang haba ng buho ko and naging hanggang dito yung hair ko. Walang nakapansin na nagpagupit ako. Sabi ko, hmm, parang may mali. So, I think na hindi halata na balayad siya. So, I was sad. And thanks to Miss Bianca Festejo dahil alam ko na gusto talaga niya na satisfied ang kanya mga customers, I went back to their salon, this time sa Las Piñas branch for a retouch. So dito sa salon na to, same procedure, inassess uli nila yung hair ko. The stylist asked me kung gusto ko pa rin ba ituloy yung balayage, eh parang ayoko na rin kasi nga super fail na siya, tsaka sobrang sira na ng buho ko dahil nga sa bleaching. So, we decided na gagawin na lang namin ay subtle highlights. Sa highlights, nilalagyan ng foil, and of course, meron pa rin konting bleach, and yung ash brown na color dapat nung hair ko. After nilang lagyan ng highlights, nilagyan uli or pinatungan uli ng base yung buong hair ko para mag-tone down yung highlights. Which brings us to this hair. So, ito na ang final look sa aking hair after that whole process of hair adventures. Ayan na siya. Sobrang subtle lang talaga nung highlights niya. And... Mukha tuloy siyang, mukha tuloy siyang natural. 
O, di ba? Sobrang happy ko talaga na ganito na yung hair ko. And kapag nag-braid ako, makikita yung highlights. So, mas makikita yung mga braided designs ko sa ganitong hairstyle. And, of course, magkakaroon din ako ng maraming hairstyles for short hair. So, abangan nyo yan. If you like my hair transformation, please give this video a thumbs up. Super accommodating ng staffs and talagang para sila sa pag-aalaga ng buhok nyo. So, I really commend the staff and stylist of the Beauty Lounge and Mary Pauline Salon. And of course, Miss Bianca Festejo as well. If you have any comments or questions regarding my hair transformation or the procedures that I went through, please leave a comment in the comment box below. Also, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, ilagay nyo rin doon sa comment box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every week. And don't forget, smile! There's always a reason to be happy. Bye!